Hey, what's up guys? My name is Steven, and welcome to video number two in this new series where I'm using Facebook Connect to log in and, regis to log in and register our users uh, on this new website that we're creating. What I'm going to do teach you guys in this episode is how to create a new library and use it for yourself in, say, in, in any controller. Like, you know how we've been using, uh, we've used libraries in the past, like the form validation library, the database library, um, and really the Every, um, Code Igniter comes with a whole bunch of other libraries that we can use as well. Um, but what happens when we want to actually create our own library, our own, uh, um, I guess, a group of functions or utilities that we want to use throughout our application? Well, what, uh, we can actually create our own libraries. By uh, All we do is we go into the libraries, libraries folder in the application folder, right here, um, and we create a new file. We capitalize the first letter. And we will call it, um, in this case, fbconnect.php. Now, initially, fbconnect is actually just going to be, it's not going to be anything uh, really, I'll, the only thing it'll be is to show you how libraries work at first. So um, right now, I'm just going to build a, like a bogus library. I'll say class um, fbconnect. Notice how I capitalized the first letter. And I'm not going to extend anything else because this library is in and of itself going to be a group of our functions. And uh, if we want to reference our code igniter object outside, we're going to have to do that a different way. And I'll show you how in a minute. Um, so the first thing I want to do is just create a public function and call it send back. It's going to be an extremely simple function. All it will do is it'll receive a value and then return the value. Okay, now um, you, might, you might be thinking, well, is that it? If I want to create my own library, is that all I have to do? Just create a new file, instead, uh, create the class, and then, yeah, that actually basically is it. So in the login view, um, what I could do is echo, for example, how about we just echo this, load libraries or library fb connect and then or no i guess we don't want to echo that we want to echo this fb connect send underscore back and we'll just send i don't know say hello world because that is not the most overused programming statement in the entire world. Um, so we'll, we'll actually echo back whatever this function returns. Um, so now if I run this, hello world, there we go. So our library actually is working. We're using the send back function in our new library called FB Connect. Um, and it essentially all it does is return the value. Now um, I'm going to create a new function here. I'll just call it test. It's not going to receive any parameters or anything like that because really all I want to do is uh, show you how to reference maybe existing libraries or helpers, so forth. Um, so um, normally, if I if I wanted to say load a library or load a helper, I would go this load library. And then specify which one. So in this case, um, we'll load the um, form validation library. What is going on? Okay. Underscore validation library. And now let's try and run this. We'll see what happens. Uh, oh, I need to call the actual test function as well. So we'll just just run that function. We'll go this fb connect test. Perfect. And now we're getting a problem. Undefined property. Load. So it actually doesn't even know what load is. Um, the reason for that is, is because our FB Connect class doesn't extend the main, uh, it doesn't extend a model or a controller or even a view. Normally we have access to our, to all of our libraries and helpers um, because I'll our existing um, models, libraries, or views are extensions of those uh, code igniter model view and 
controller libraries or controller classes. Um, but in this case, it's not extending anything. So what we actually have to do is uh, create a super object. And now these are basically in CodeIgniter, there's a function we can use to uh, to receive the CodeIgniter instance of uh, I don't know how to explain it. Let's let's say um, all of CodeIgniter right now is it's all like connected, right? So our views, our controllers, and our libraries are, are all um, models and classes of uh, of the of this thing called the CodeIgniter object. And in this CodeIgniter object, we also it also knows what a library is. It also knows what a helper is. Um, right now, we're not extending any of that, so it doesn't know what a model or sorry a library or a helper is. So we need to tell it. We need to tell, say, like, let's create a CI, which this will be called a super object, which will be the entire CodeIgniter object, or it'll be the same instance of. And the way we do that is to say equal ampersand get underscore instance. Um, okay, so this CI, this um, super object, essentially what we can do now is instead of referencing this, because this is in reference to FB Connect, which isn't actually extending anything, we will reference to CI instead of this, right? So if I want to load this library, instead of referencing to this, I'll go CI. And we'll see if we still get that error. And we won't, because we're actually, we can now successfully load the form validation library or any library um, any library helper or more importantly in this uh, series the config options which we do have access to and I'll show you how to do that in a little bit once we actually get into migrating the the existing Facebook Facebook Connect SDK into our application um, but really quick why don't I just try and load a helper uh, I will load the uh, URL helper and then just to prove that this is actually working I'm going to echo out base underscore URL. I'll save that and it's working. So this helper is now successfully being loaded um, within our test function in our FB Connect object or our FB Connect library without actually extending any model class or view. Sorry, model controller or view. Um, so yeah, I th I'm pretty sure that's it. In the next video, that's it for this video. In the next video we're going to migrate over the existing, we're going to take a look at the Facebook SDK. Um, we're going to, I think, migrate it over and see if we can actually include it into this library um, and have it, and without getting any errors or anything like that.